This is a demonstration how to configure YubiKey 5 for SSH and GPG access to GitHub. We are going to run this demonstration on Microsoft Windows 10. So here are the prerequisites. First of all, we need a computer running Microsoft Windows 10 or higher. Then we need to download and install the following applications. First of all, Hoodie. Next, the GPG for Win, which is the open PGP application we are going to use for this demonstration. Then Git, which is the client tool in order to access GitHub. And optionally, we can install Tortoise Blink with a couple of extra features to Git. Furthermore, we need an account at GitHub. And of course, we need a YubiKey 5 with the open PGP application enabled, and that is attached to the computer. So let's dive right into it. So first of all, we have the account settings here in GitHub. So here we have the entry SSH and GPG keys. And as you can see, the entries are empty. So this is precisely what we are going to uh, configure in this demonstration. So in order to do that, we go to command prompt and we type the command GPG card edit like that. And then we get the info about YubiKey, which is now empty. Then next, we are going to run the admin command, which allows for admin commands. Next, we are executing the command generate, which means that we're going to generate uh, GPG, GPG keys on YubiKey. We select no here, just for the purpose of the demo. We enter now a pin code. The uh, key will be valid for two years, and that is correct. And for the name, we can use the same as for the demo account here. So let's type in YubiKey demo. And as email address, we can simply take a test email address like that. And as a comment, we can put YubiKey demo. This is OK. And we have to enter the admin pin. The YubiKey is now flashing, which means that the open PGP keys are being generated. And now we have to enter the pin code again. YubiKey is flashing still. And now the key pair has been generated. So we can now exit that one. And for uh, to restart the GPG agent, we need to run the command GPG connect agent. And we can, for security reasons, type the command GPG connect agent kill agent by, which means that we are now starting the GPG connection. And now we can restart it by running the same command, but without the kill agent flag. So now we have a new fresh connection to the YubiKey, and we can now check the card status of it by running the command GPG card status. And now we can see that we have generated a GPG key pair, and it has also a signature key, encryption key, and authentication key on it. So we're now going to copy a couple of values here. We're going to copy the general key info identifier, like that. And we're saving that in this file here. Next, we're taking the authentication key identifier. And we are copying that one as well. And we <clears throat> might just as well trim this string because we're going to need this in a moment. So, and uh, next we are going to export the SSH key from the YubiKey. And we will do that by running the command gpg export SSH key. And then we need to enter the authentication key identifier like that. We copy that value, type it there. 
And then we need to write this to a file. We can simply call this ssh.key. Now we can check the file structure if the file has been generated. And yes, it is right there. Next, we will export also the gpg file. And we do that by running the command gpg, that is minus o. And this is the gpg file name. We can call that gpg.key. And then we need a flag armor. And we also need a flag export. And here we need the gpg key identifier value. So, and so we have exported also the gpg key to the file system and we can have a look and it is a pgp key like that. So next step is now to configure this in the uh, GitHub account. So first of all, we take new SSH key. We can call this um, gpkey demo gpkey ssh key. So we go to the ssh key, we copy the contents of it, and we paste it like that, and we press add ssh key. Here we need to enter the password. And as you can see, the gpg key has now been gpg slash ssh key has now been configured as an ssh key. Next, we are going to configure the gpg key, and then we are going to copy the contents of the gpg file, paste it like that, add gpg key, and as you can see, it's now being added like that. Finally, we can now test this by running a git command. We can try git clone. And we can now try to clone the repo in this test account, github.com slash yubikey demo slash test. And now the git command has executed and we have now cloned repository here into the local disk. That completes our demo.